Now, he's about to take you back to the era of the new romantics. Martin Kemp joins us ahead of his one-off radio special next week. He's here right now. Lovely to see so you. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. you guys, um, was this Roman's idea? Uh, yeah, it could have been. <laughs> yeah, I think you put a good word in for me, you know. Uh, no, I, do, I worked with uh, Fern Cotton and we took over yeah. Graham Norton's show uh, a couple of years back, every Saturday morning. And uh, I loved doing that, absolutely. So this came up. And they asked me to come on and talk about New Romantic Era, which is kind of something I know about. Yeah, kind just of. a bit. Yeah. And so, so this I is like a yes. three-hour musical journey, really. Yeah, absolutely. It's the, for me, it's the best time of music. Pop, it's, pop culture was amazing. Yeah. The music was amazing. The bands were amazing. It's the beginning of the 80s. Mm. And how and, would you say that that time shaped you, do you think? As a person? Yeah. Oh, hugely. Because when I was going to those early clubs, like the Blitz and Billies, it was all about boys were dressing as girls, girls were dressing as boys, everything was over the top. It didn't matter who you were yeah. or who you wanted to be. Uh, it was about being you. Yeah, and I right. think, for me, that really shaped my personality. You know, where now, I don't mind what anybody does as long as they're happy. Yeah. And I think that comes from how I grew up in those clubs. And I think the nice thing about that is how I've handed that down to my kids, like Roman. Absolutely. Mm. I, um, I saw you, I'm sure I've told you this before, but I uh, saw you, I was 17 years old, I was a bookings clerk at Broadcasting House, the BBC, and I walked round the corner to go and get my <clears> lunch, <throat> and you guys were all... This, this was the height of yeah. the New Romantics, the height of Spandau Ballet, and you were all standing in the pub, all in your big billowy outfits, and <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like a vision. I thought, my God, they look so cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's an amazing thing, isn't it? You know, but when we look back now, it, it's kind of ridiculous. But for me, that was the last of the great pop cultures. Yeah. It was the last time that kids dressed up. And it was the last time that kids dressed up and had a band at the helm yeah. that was Spandau Ballet, mm. you know, or Duran Duran, whoever, wherever was you there came a, Was there a, uh, a, a, any sort of rivalry between you and Duran Duran? Rivalry? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, but it was all good fun, you know. And it wasn't just about how much you spent on those ridiculously expensive mm. videos, you know. Yeah. Or, but it was so brilliant. I wish yeah. people would do that more or, now. Or what number you were in the charts. I mean, our rivalry went to ridiculous points where it was, if we were in a party together, it was who could drink the most or who could even... One night, it was who could even stay up the latest. And it was everything, <laughs> everything we did. And it all ended up on that pop quiz yep. where uh, we, you know, we went head to head mm -hmm. and uh, we lost, but I still dispute that. Really? You think they cheated? cheated. You think they cheated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still can't let it go. I can't handle that. It's funny, actually, because um, obviously you were a judge on Let It Shine when yeah. you were looking for the new cast of the Take That musical and mm. Spandau are doing a similar sort thing aren't they well we're trying to yeah. yeah we're getting it together it's only early stages but uh we'd like to see it happen yeah and uh, we're working on scripts at the moment and if it happens it'd be really good but what i just heard is duran duran have got one coming out I at the know, same well, time that's what i was gonna say <laughs> so well, they've another... got they've, they've already done their first draft apparently well we're on our second. Oh, OK. So, <laughs> more competition. <laughs> what will it be, then? What are you going to do? Um, it, it, listen, it's really early stages at the moment. You know, hopefully it's the story of Spandau Ballet. Mm. Yeah. That's what we're trying to put together. Which, those records that we made in those, in those years mean so much to everybody that it's a bit like going to see the Jersey Boys when you know every song on stage and you sing along in your head, mm. you know, to every song. Yeah. And I mean so much, so why not do it? I mean, having performed those tracks so many times, is there one for you that is your favourite? Is it sort oh, of yeah. stands out to you? Oh yeah, it's Through the Barricades right. by Miles. Right. Because that song, when it was written, it was written about, you know, the Catholic Protestant divide, you know, and finding love across that divide. Yeah. And then as we toured it, we found out that it, it kind of belonged to everybody because it was about, we, I'll give you an example, we played in San Francisco and we played in front of a, you know, completely gay crowd. And it was their song as well, where they were finding love across yeah. a hard divide. Mm. And then at the end, in 2009, when Spandau got back together after about 15 years, mm. it became our song because we were uh, finding yeah. that across the divide as well. So it meant so much to us. So yeah. what, it, what does the, the, the future of the band hold? Because, I mean, obviously a, a lot of fans would like to see mm. Tony back into, yeah. the, into the fold. Yeah. Um, and what's always, what's always sad with something like that is whatever fallouts, whatever happens mm. sort of years ago, and you, 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 a lot of people, a lot of bands take that, you know, look, look back and thought, all right, let's get over yeah. this now. Let's, let's, let's crack on because we should be enjoying this in our, in our, you know, in our maturity. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, the band stopped playing and uh, 
we thought it'd be really cool if we took out Ross William Wilde, who's a lovely man, lovely singer. And we, we tried that for about six or seven shows through Europe, and it was great fun. But what I kind of started to realise was what people really want is the five of us together. Mm. And I think what we should do, to be fair to that, is to put it into a box and let it sit there until that happens. Mm. And if one day the five of us can talk and get back together, then um, it would be wonderful. So are you I saying so. that you wouldn't... You, you, you've decided that you're not touring Spandau now? Until That's, Tony comes until back. Until Tony comes yeah, back. Yeah, I think so. Until, well, until the five of us come back. You know, it's not just Tony, it's yeah. all five five of us. Listen, my band is so volatile, you know. One minute we're the best of friends, next minute we fall out, and it's yeah. always been like that. What do you think are the chances of it actually happening? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I mean, listen, I would love it to happen yeah. because I love... It's part of me. It's part of my soul, you know. But And I would love it to happen and I would do it tomorrow. But uh, it means all five of us saying yes at the same time. Oh, well, uh, there'll be a lot of people that hope that happens. Yeah, um, you're doing lots of DJing. This is a Back to the <clears throat> 80s party in Norwich this summer. That 80s yeah. vibe, I mean, 80s music, it does seem to bring people... People just love sort of going back and revisiting that time. It's amazing, yeah. I've been touring uh, this Back to the 80s show, you know, this DJ show for the last year, and uh, people absolutely lose themselves. Yeah. And they sing to every single word. It is the most euphoric atmosphere I have ever been in in my life. No matter how, you know, playing Live Aid or playing all those big shows with Spandau, mm. DJing in front of a thousand people to all latest songs that everyone they know yeah. is the most euphoric thing. They become 17 again, I become 17, and so uh, it's just wonderful. Yeah. You know, well, it'll it be will lovely cure to... anything. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, but it's know, feel right. good. It's all feel yeah, it good. It is. Lovely. It will be great to experience it all on the radio. Um, and uh, Martin yeah. Kemp's New Romantics is on the 27th of May from 2 till 5 on Radio 2.